Let's talk to uh, Kieran Kelly, who's spokesman for Be Reasonable uh, Scotland, which is an organisation campaigning to protect a parent's right to discipline their child. Uh, good morning to you, Kieran. Good morning, Julia. Good morning. Um, I have no doubt at all, as often happens, where the Scottish court, uh, Scottish uh, Parliament goes, uh, so does uh, often uh, the rest of the country. Um, why are you opposed to this change in the law? Because it's not necessary, Julia. That's uh, that's the simple truth of it. Um, I mean, the, the, uh, the, it's the case that criminal offences already exist to protect the children, um, and uh, this is a law which is going to unnecessarily criminalise parents. And for what? for something that has been accepted uh, for generations as in the right circumstances, appropriate, um, beneficial uh, and an everyday part of family life. So I think just the Scottish Government has, has, is going way too far on this, doesn't really understand what it is like to um, be a, a part of a family and it seems obsessed. Well, presumably they've grown up in life. families as well. But the interesting thing is the Scottish uh, population, the polls suggest the Scots are actually, uh, are, 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 are by and large, opposed to this change in the law. But, but right, certainly yeah. the charity, children's charities and the like are, are campaigning against it. I can absolutely understand if you're working in a children's charity where you are seeing the most horrific treatment of children, you're going to be mm. very wary of anyone who, who, who hits their child as a form of discipline and i can absolutely understand these concerns but as you say um the you know parents who who use it i mean if you use a, a, an implement to hit your child or you're yeah. hitting them in the head or shaking them or or beating them that's already a criminal yeah. assault but then this i say this to someone I, I, my, my kid's a good kid I, I don't know i've been lucky or we've just been amazing parents i fear it's just down to luck but um but I, i've never hit her um, i've no intention of ever doing so I absolutely reserve the right, if I do see fit, that I will. If if that is, I, I think I should have the right to do so. But there's a very big difference, isn't there, between people who are you say, attacking, assaulting their children and, and, and a parent who is using um, a, a physical punishment as a form of discipline. But a lot of parents would say, look, you know, but if you need to hit your child, you've already lost the power of, you've you already lost discipline if you're a child. What would you say to those people? I just think it's a false argument. Um, so, I mean, you're, you're absolutely spot on that uh, what parents want to do is that it's parents like you who understand their children best. They understand the circumstances. They understand what is, uh, what is appropriate. And where those lines are crossed, there are already laws in place. The NSPCC today said um, violence has no place in the family. Well, we'd absolutely agree. But what we're saying is that smacking, uh, as is currently uh, legal, isn't violence and unfortunately what's happened in this argument is these two things have been i would say deliberately conflated so the, the discussion is around um, hitting children assaulting yeah. children beating children and of course parents aren't doing that because the majority of parents um they, they they love their children um they want to bring them up right they're they not doing it to cause harm i have to say i've got a lot no, of fine. friends who and, and family members who have and especially i think the ones who've had boys they genuinely find that they are, are more likely to be people who are who will physically chastise their kids they certainly don't see themselves as using violence they're certainly not causing an injury not even a red yeah. mark on the skin yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I, mean, I mean i mean i suppose that's different and, and, and yet the argument from the the people who are campaigning against it, including the SNP, is that uh, th this is basically people, we, 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 we legitimise adults physically assaulting vulnerable small children in the way that we would not allow someone to just go up to someone in the street and slap them. Uh, as a but, that's another, but that's just another nonsense argument because um, uh, the relationship between, to equate the relationship between a parent and a child with some random person on the street yeah. is, is pretty offensive, I think, to, to the majority of parents. I mean, I... Uh, um, in, in keeping with many parents, you know, I will have um, w sat with my daughter or been with my daughter whilst she was going to the toilet when she was younger. Um, I will have uh, wiped her bum and changed her nappy. <laughs> All things which, which are, 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 are part of parental family life, which in a different second cir set of circumstances would be grossly inappropriate. But we understand the difference. Or the majority of people, and the majority, including the majority of people in Scotland, understand that difference. And what's, what's really worrying about this is you, could, you know where this is going to go. So parents are going to be criminalised. I mean, there's been denials to the, to the fact that it's not about criminalising parents. Well, it is, because that that's what it will do, yes. The police have said that. I mean, they're, they're, they're debating prosecution policy today. So it's clearly about criminalising parents. And our estimates are that there'd be, you know, a couple of thousand, sort of more than 2,300 2, um, parents in the frame within the first five years.